And this is my setup here, getting my stream on. I got my own power here. Got my own power station. Very light. Then I got a Dell laptop. And I got a dual screen with it. And most of all, I just got an AT&T hotspot. That's my tools I use to accomplish this task. The tower's about a mile away. And I made it happen. PCD, round one. Once again, PCD. I'm outside, University of Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to access your Android devices from outside your home that has media on it. I'm outside, guys, the University of Pennsylvania. Guys, let's get to the point. Let's go do a speed test to let you know that I'm connected to MIFI hotspot, the AT&T I showed earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do a test. Let's use Google M Labs. I'm getting early 60s, mid 60s from the AT&T hotspot. The download is 64.5. Upload is struggling. It's a hot spot, guys. It's for downloading, not uploading. Let's go to Ookla. And here we are, guys. As you see, AT&T hotspot IP address 107.77.22.138. Let's change the server. Because we always want to connect to this closest server where the hotspot signal is coming from. Which ATT towers are in, I guess, Baltimore or Washington area. Let's do a test, guys. The ping is 36. And I'm getting in the mid, mid. 70s. Can I get an 80? AT&T hotspot, people. The upload, much better than M Labs. I'm about 23, 22. Twenty sixty one. On the upload, 7926 on the download. Ladies and gentlemen, to access your content on a laptop, you will need an app called MB Theater. Let me log on it. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And there is one of the servers, but guys, Let's go select, change the server. I'll show you all of them that I have connected. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, I showed you a picture before. And when I was local in my home, I had a 192 IP address. Ladies and gentlemen, these will be masked out. That's my IP address of my home router. Can't show you all that. I don't trust you. But ladies and gentlemen, you see the Samsung phone, the own. 4K Pro, the Buzz TV Power Station 6, my Sadu 1000 Pro, the Shield Media Server, and my Nas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go access these servers. Let's try the Samsung S9 phone, which is on Wi Fi. Let's connect. Bingo, I'm in. I'll let you know this is that server. As you see right there, Samsung S9 phone. I'm the user. Only got some 1080s on there. Let's try one. Let 
And ladies and gentlemen, we will be dealing with transcoding. This ain't local. This thing is not on my local network. I'm outside. Let's try the hitchhiker. See if I can access this content. And bingo, there you are. YouTube gonna flag that one. Let's try the kitchen. 1080p, excuse me, 720. The size of the video was about two gigs. 720. H264. Let's play it. Ooh, and that's ugly. I got a little bit of everything on here. Guys, let us add it some files. Let's try to make 1080p, H264. And the size of the video was about 3.2 gigs. Jason Stamos. There we are, guys. It ain't a whole lot of pushing this up. This is about transcoding. Still not that bad. What does he mean? They're going to flag that, too. Boy, I'll be doing some editing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go and... Switch the server, change the server. We just accessed the Samsung S9 phone, and you see the IP address that's starting with 74. That's coming from my home. And ladies and gentlemen, you you think you're seeing something, but you ain't. This will be masked out, ladies and gentlemen. Another device that's on Wi-Fi in my home. Ladies and gentlemen, the own 4K Pro. That's right, your Android device with media connected to it, which I have a 500 gig hard drive connected to this device at home. Let's access it, see if we can get to it. Let's connect. And there we are. Let's put a couple of 1080s on there. Two hundred and sixty-eight. Let's try one. Action point. 720 HEVC. Guys, I ain't got no big boys on here. 620 half a gig i'm trying to access the stuff outside my home but it will be transcoding because this is temp generation intel 630 graphics and there you are people let's push it up a little bit this one you used to love it when you're a kid and easy thank you not me. my superpower Looks good to me. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the own 4K Pro. Let's play something else. Try 12 strong. 1080p HEVC. About 900 megs. I did compression, y'all. Let's see if we can access this media server that has content on it at my home. You won't say no to me. Looks good to me. In hell, Cap. Looks good to me. Wake up! Let's pause this. Let's go to the settings. And it says, direct play? <laughs> That's crazy. AT&T let me direct play. I'm about three miles away from my home at the University of Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen, at the Perry World House. And it's saying it's direct play. That's crazy. Six thirty graphics. Guys, let's go access the next server. Let's go change the server. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. If you got one device home and you got some media on, you can access it. But you know, Philly, I do things different, and I went overboard. Ladies and gentlemen, you see I have one, two, three, four, five, six servers. Just to prove a point, you can access your content on your streaming devices, Android, or stock Android, Android TV OS, or stock Android. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Power Station 6, which is running 
stock Android, plain regular Android that runs on your phone, but it's running on the TV box. Power station sick, let's access it. Ladies and gentlemen, rock tip device, powerful. It can do encoding on its own, but it gets sent out encoding. Let's do 4K. The mother devices was both on Wi-Fi, the Samsung phone, S9, and the own 4K Pro. Let's try Martian. I'm outside, guys. Motorcycle going past. No matter of fact, it's a Dodge Charger. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 4K. As you see, 3840 by 16, not 21. Four bit, the size of the five file is 4.2 gigs. It's compressed. But in accessing my content outside my home, the Martian 4K. Everyone, hold in on Martinez's suit. It'll get you the airlock. Push it up a little bit more. more. Let's push it up and a I'm lot more. Have... My hot spot showing off. Oh my goodness. You, you see it, ladies and gentlemen, accessing the power station six outside of my home 4K video. Let's try Warcraft 4K. Oh, compress 1080 H.264. How big is the file? 11 gigabytes. Let's try and get our transcoding going because I definitely ain't gonna let this no direct play. We'll go to the settings when I access it. And there we are, people. Warcraft 4K, 11 gigs. Mm, should have let it transcode. There we are. We will build it, you, Michael. Push it down to 1080. We'll bring you all. Push it up, see what's going on here. Transcoding people. Not bad. I was no Not leader bad, today. people. Warcraft 4K. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try one more, one more on the, as you see, Power Station, Buzz TV Power Station 6. Let's take it home. 1080s on the P6. Flux, it's my movie. 2005, 1080p. Transcoding, because it was played previously, but it started from the beginning with no problem. I gotta get better with that, it's transcoding. I'm acting like I'm on my local network, which I'm not. Pushed it up, pushed it up. And there we are, people. Ladies and gentlemen. We done access three of my media servers that's in my home on my local network. But I'm outside, University of Pennsylvania. Let's change the server. We did the Power Station 6, the own 4K, which is on Wi Fi. Samsung S9 phone, which is on Wi Fi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's access the Sudo 1000 Pro. Let's connect. And there we are, people. Let's go a quick 1080. Five flights up. I'm outside, people. Like 
So, uh, pushing it up. Just meet her here. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what the settings is. The small might be the right play. Yes, it is. You know what I'm going to do? As you see right there. Because that's rude. Stats for nerds. Oh, As you see, direct pay from my home about three miles away. A little bit more than three miles away. And this is the what? Sadu 1000 Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try some 4K on a Sadu. Red Hour 4K HDR at 10 HEVC. How big is the file, guys? 15 gigs. Let's go at it. Let's try. Once again, it's PCD. We do things a little different on this channel. I'm getting my encode on at the University of Pennsylvania. 15 gig file. See if I can access my content outside of my home with MB Media Server. Not Plex. MB Media Server. The reason why I'm accessing this content, because there is only one, one streaming device, which is the NVIDIA Shield that can be installed, Plex Media Server, to access your content. But with MB Media Server, you can install it on any, let me say that again, any Android device. It's a big file, 15 gigs. But guess what? It's struggling. Let's go to the settings, see if we can bring it down. And I'm pushing it down to 1086, 60. Let's bring it down to 720. Uh-oh. It's trying to play. 720, 1.5. Except something outside. And I'm on AT&T. The Wi-Fi takes a minute. The transcoding takes a little minute. Try and take it back and play it again, which is just trying to transcode again. See if it brought it down. It brought it down, but I'm not getting them speeds. I'm not getting any playback. Let's go to Stats for Nerds. It's not accessing the device. Reducing bitrate due to the quality settings. And ladies and gentlemen, there we are. There's a lot of um, settings I did not do. I will go into detail about the transcoding settings on whatever device you have. 15 gig file, trying to access it. After maybe 20, 30 seconds, it'll play. But we ain't got time for that. Let's try another 4K. Spotlight. And transcoding. I gotta watch how I push this up. It's an AT&T hotspot. But the PC is making it happen. The temp generation with 630 Intel 630 graphics. And there we are, people. Ladies and gentlemen. That was the Sudo Z1000 Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, let's change the server. We're going to access the Sudo Power Station own 4K S9 phone. Samsung. Let's access the NVIDIA Shield. And if you notice, ladies and gentlemen, look at them IP addresses. They all start with 94. Excuse me, 74. That's my home IP address. But look at the shield that we haven't accessed yet. 
It's my local. It didn't change yet because I didn't access it from the outside yet. And next to that is my Asusor 6702 Nas. We're going to do that last. But this will tell you about encoding. Which device can do what? Ladies and gentlemen, let's access this Shield Media Server, which I run Plex and MB on it. Because it's an NVIDIA Shield. The only, let me say that again, the only Android device. Android TV OS device and Android device that you can install Plex Media Server. Let's access it, people. Let's connect. And there we are. We got 4K, two folders of 1080p, and UHD. Let's try some 1080p. Vampire Hunter, H264. You know how the shield play, man. They got juice. Tagra. Come on, Phil. They got to get better than that. Let it, let it load up first. And there we are, people. Let's try number 1080. Act of violence. There we are, people. No problems. This must be direct play. Let me check the settings. No, 723 at 1.5. Let's go up. Let's try 10 bit. No problem. Push it up a little bit. No problem. NVIDIA Shield Media Server. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see right there, Shield Media Server, I labeled it. Let's take it home. Let's be inside 1080, which I put 1700 movies on there. From the outside, people, I can access it. Anywhere where there's sufficient internet connection. Like I said, if you live on the moon, you can get to this. This gentleman is playing his music. He got his radio up. Let's take it up. Take it home. Let's try some 4K on the shield. From Tell Transylvania. Y'all know this is my movie here. Sony, no problem. Push it up. Push it up. The water. I just figured you. Push it up. Smile. Showing off his fangs. Oh, it's just like. Ladies and gentlemen, University of Penn. I'm hanging outside. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try something crazy here. UHD. Ladies and gentlemen, I got seven movies here. Total storage, a little less than 500 gigs. Scarface. This movie is 4K. HDR10. HEVC. And look how big it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is 74 gigs. Will I be able to accomplish this task on the outside of my home? I know I won't. No. But I'm going to try it because I'm Philly. I do things a little different over here. If I get it to start, I'm going to bring the transcoding down. Let's see if we can access it. UHD movie. Uh oh. NBC, like, let me try it. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen. I tried this the other day doing some testing and couldn't get nothing. Nothing. UHD running. Guys, you know I can't push this up much. I'm gonna try and push it up about two minutes. They're like, stop fucking pulling. <laughs> Let's see if it'll transcode, ladies and gentlemen. Which I doubt it. The internet only going up to 60 and 70. 
And wow. It worked. So where's your old man now? Wow, let's go see the stats for nerds. Oh, push it down to 1080. It's transcoding it. But the quality looks good to me. And ladies and gentlemen, as you see, the quality is 1080 8 bit. But you can go all the way up to 4K 200. But I'll take this because I'm outside my home. <laughs> wow, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going all in. Justice League, ladies and gentlemen, biggest movie I have. As you see, 4K Dolby Vision, HEBC. And ladies and gentlemen, look at the size of this. It is 93 gigs. And the audio formats is all of them. It's all of them. Subtitles, this thing has got everything. Every subtitle, all the audio formats. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if Philly can pull this off. Let me show you again. 93 gigs outside of my home. I know it ain't gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Ladies and gentlemen, PCD, we do things a little different over here. Shout out to my team. Y'all know who y'all are. The PCD team. Oh my God. And I'm accessing a 93 gig movie outside of my home. No coffin so far. The Justice League, UHD, outside of my home. I ain't gonna even try and push it up. That's gonna be a problem. But it's playing, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. Take it back. Take it home. Ladies and gentlemen, we were just accessing Philly Cable Dave's Shield Media Server, which I played UHD, 74 gig file, and then 93, Justice League. Ladies and gentlemen, that's five servers. One more to go. Let's change the server. And we got my PCD Acer Store Nas, which is the model number is 6702T. This is six bay. I got about 80 terabytes on it. I only got about half full. Can we access it? Let's connect to it. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I got some 4K. Two movie folders, as you see. Movie one, movie two. Got some music. UHD. Try Super Pets UHD. The movie is exactly about 45 gigs. 4K Dolby Vision. Let's see if we can make this happen on the Nas. This shouldn't be a problem because it got its own coaxes. Shouldn't be a problem, but you never know from AT&T and the temp gen Dell laptop. We got a little cough at the beginning. We got a cough again. Third cough. Fourth cough. Let's check the quality out, guys. Push it down to 1080. 8 bit. And it's playing with no problem. A couple of coughs to get the transcoding started. I was coughing again. <laughs> there we are, guys. But on the knives, take it home. 4K. Shuttle home. No problem. Flip that in, no problem.
recognize are made for that. Transcoding. Transcoding. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take it home. I got some music in here, guys. Let's try. Let's try. Some Izzy Brothers. What we got here? Can't find a goddamn patrols. Ladies and gentlemen, it's PCD. And this server was by Aces Door. Nice. Let's change the server, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to look at this screen. At the beginning of the IP addresses, it says 74. The rest of it will be masked out. You ain't getting in my home, starting up on my network. But as you've seen, September 14th, when I did that update channel video, you've seen local IP addresses. Now, you see outside IP addresses, starting with 74. And at the end, the semicolon, you will see the port number. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you watching it. If you like my content, could you please smack that thumbs up? And most of all, leave a comment. And, you, or, and if you're interested in making this happen on your local network to bring it outside with content that's connected to your streaming devices, shoot me an email at getatphilly at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this is round one. We're going to have round two. Me showing you how I'm executing this and setting it up on this ASUS AX11000 router. And now I will show you how to port forward your stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a caveat. You've seen them local IP addresses in my home. Here, you've seen the outside IP addresses. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't set this up for anybody you don't know or don't like or don't like you. You're giving them access to your router, your outside IP address. So ladies and gentlemen, that's why this is part one. I'm gonna show you how to 
really lock it down. Let me show you what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you what I mean. I'm a server enthusiast and I manage some big boy servers. Let me show you one of them. And believe me, this one is secure. Here's my big boy server. We got collections. We got a plane flying over. We got collections, movies, 4K, 4K TV, mm. anime, foreign, Spanish. My playlist, sports, TV shows, 4K TV shows, anime, TV foreign, TV Spanish. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you one of these folders. I'm gonna tease you a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. At the top right there, do you see that? Let me highlight it for you. That is 400, excuse me, 49,745 movies, just under the movies. Four K. Four thousand thirty. Four K D V. How fifteen hundred. Regular T V shows. It is ten thousand T V shows and each T V show has episodes. Like 9-11. It has 106 episodes. Ladies and gentlemen. It's PCD. We do things a little different over here. It's about the end user. Part one. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, smack that thumbs up if you like the content. And please leave me a comment. Leave some comments, guys. If I fell short in any, any area, please let me know. Philly Cable Day all day long. You yeah, have a nice one. See y'all in part two. Shout out to the people who get down with me. Y'all yeah, know the team. Peace. Much respect. Get your stream on outside your home. Peace.